You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl! What is it doing here? Well... It's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malachim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Moloch family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it? I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <clears throat> Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True. But it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks. Under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, sir. sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Blazes are you!
I'm opening every door to every cell. We're getting off this island. What the hell? You serious? Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior? I won't force you! You want to rot in here, then rot! I'm with you! Anything's better than another day in this rattle! Let's do it! I'm going home to my family! Me too! Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl! Rogues like us are always I'm up for I'm sick a of the slop they feed us! Ceres. That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. You're not going to escape? Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing? Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the Abbey joined forces with the Kingdom of Midgand. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, Thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. Dear me! Not a word of apology? she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. More? This one. He's a demon! Get ready! I'll stop! You're not human. Neither are you. 
<laughs> True enough. <laughs> Deception! See this? He's strong. Chips in the blades already. Huh. Brittle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry! Stormhell. Could that demon be... What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. Uh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, really? The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. I see you are truly committed to this. <laughs> You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power, if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar. I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No. I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, 
If we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady, so I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is, then. <laughs> Lord Arturius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? Skilled. I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this. Her fatal. Please consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lafie's! That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes... ...are one and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days <laughs> when you and I <laughs> and Arthur were <laughs> together. <laughs>
is happening? Move! If you don't... I'll eat you! Power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon! Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet! That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon. Moloch. And exorcists alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Storm Howl is back in my care. Rokurodan gets it, at your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt, one I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. <sighs> Guess the weather's feeling as crummy as I am. Careful. Sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy. Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Artorias.
on, Moloch. Ah! Stay back! You really are a box of horrors, aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. <laughs> oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise there much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me! You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement! Your words cut deeper than these northern winds! 